from the Rat Pack endorsing JFK to Oprah campaigning for Obama, Hollywood and Washington often get pretty cozy. But do celebrity endorsements make a difference at the ballot box? Cory Booker can count on the support of his girlfriend, Rent star Rosario Dawson, and his quest for the nomination. Kamala Harris scored a high-profile endorsement from writer-actress Mindy Kaling. The pair filmed a video together in November. It's like, <laughs> meanwhile, it's taken me 20 minutes to do this much of ginger. Okay, what can she do? You got my vote. <laughs> but how much good it did is debatable. Harris dropped out a week later. Bernie Sanders also has support from Hollywood, A-list actors like Mark Ruffalo and Susan Sarandon. He will make an excellent and historic president in the very moment we are ready for it and need it most. He and I am honored to be able to do the next president of the United States, Senator Bernie Sanders. And big-time young music stars like Ariana Grande and Cardi B, who could help the septuagenarian bridge the generational gap between the candidate and his supporters. Let's do the burn. <laughs> Celebrity endorsements can be very useful to candidates in the early stages of a campaign by helping to build up name recognition while also providing a platform to spread policy positions. But political observers agree they're less likely to be effective in a general election when voters are making their final choices among candidates. Ultimately, Hollywood is seen more as left-leaning than the rest of the country. And depending upon the state and its political bent, a celebrity endorsement could have the opposite effect. Hillary Clinton had far more support from Hollywood than Donald Trump, but that didn't seem to matter on Election Day.